Welcome to Oz Chris vs. DC Comics for week 3 of August, here with a review of Superman Year One, book 2, written, uh, the story and art by Frank Miller and John Romita Jr., the colouring by Alex Sinclair, and the cover I got, it, which is by Frank Miller and Alex Sinclair, the, uh, the variant cover. So, in the Navy, <laughs> is basically, uh, the, <laughs> what this issue is. So, Clark has joined the Navy, um... We follow his exploits as, um, despite the fact he says, uh, don't, uh, his, no, adopted father would say, don't go showing off. Clark unintentionally shows off. Like, he's shown to be, like, the best of the best and the higher ups, uh, all of his instructors, trainees, all the officers, they all see this and they see how gosh darn well he does. Not even well, extremely good. Um, in his training, so he gets bumped up to a uh, to to train at the Naval Amphibious Base at Coronado. Is that supposed to be like Colonado or what or whatever? I don't know if that's a real real place or whatever. But he gets his training gets bumped up. and He goes into even more extreme uh, training, and there while while uh, training, he gets uh, sights of mermaid mermaids. He sees mermaids and only. One of the officers uh, knows about this and tells him not to tell anyone else. And during one night, he goes off to meet these mermaids, and he does. He finds Atlantis. He helps them deal with a, a sunken uh, submarine that's demolished um, quite a bit of their city. And he gains the attention of an one of the mermaids, Laurie, and the two fall in love with each other. But, you know... Judy calls. He has to go back, finish his, you know, training as a as a marine. Uh, so once he's done his uh, once he's done his training, he he only has like one real like mission that he goes through where um uh, stops a group of uh, uh I think it's smugglers or um. Uh, they got a, a whole, uh, just a group of uh, terrorists that are smuggling all these like jet fuel. I think uh, he has one real mission. That's essentially what it is. And before he, before he's uh, no, his training finishes. He goes goes off to spend what he believes is to be the rest of his life with Laurie. He really loves and cares about her. He properly dons his first Superman. Uh, suit, you know, get dressed for the occasion to meet um, Poseidon, but Poseidon is against Laurie and Superman's relationship and puts or puts all of these tests and hazards in front of a uh, in front of Clark to stop their relationship from ever happening. So that was mainly it for the uh, for that issue. So story, I'd give it a three point five out of five, above average, uh, close close to good. Um, it was essentially kind of okay. I think it the Navy stuff kind of really dragged out. It it really took up two thirds of this book before it went into the whole um, Superman um, with his second love, Laurie, the Laurie, the um, the mermaid. But uh, it, but I think the Navy stuff really kind of dra dragged dragged on it. I'm glad it kind of took a break in the middle to introduce you know Atlantis and all that because. Um, it would have honestly just been a bore if it was just straight up navy for like continue a, a continuous two thirds of the books before going into the Atlantis stuff. Um, the art and the coloring, I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give a four point five. Uh, good art, uh, good art, good coloring. There's, there's a few times where it looks a bit off, but overall it's good. The cover, the variant by Miller and Sinclair. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 above average close to good um but okay with the coloring not a particular big fan of miller's uh miller's artwork so that was it for this review of superman year one book two thank you all for watching if you're new subscribe hit the notification bell uh, if you like the video leave a like whatever and i will see you all in the next one mm -hmm.